So, hi guys, welcome to the Desert Wolfax channel. So, now I'm currently located in Barco Autonomous County, like Barco Kazakh Autonomous County, which is about a two hour drive from Hami City proper, <coughs> but under jurisdiction of Hami City. So, this, so this is basically a food street, and behind me is a building. But do you see those mountains behind? Yes, that is the Tian Shan Mountains, which stretches all the way from Hami to Kazakhstan. So, I shall bring you forward of the Rako ancient city. So, here is an array of shops. See, they even have their own transportation system here in Bakol. Cool, right? So, yes, this is the plaque for the food street. And yes, you will realize that yeah, in Xinjiang, once you see, start seeing Uyghur Nostalic alphabets above the Chinese. Currently, it's negative 14 degrees here, and I'm actually quite cold, Flamingos. So, Unfortunately, I wouldn't be able to give you a full preview, but at least this will do, I guess. You don't really see much snow here, do you? But it's actually snowing outside. Of the city at least. Outside the city temperatures can reach about 23 degrees negative. So yeah, you can tell it's freezing cold. And all these trees have all kind of withered. So <coughs> If you want to come to Xinjiang, please don't be like me. Come in the autumn, don't come in the winter. What did you step on? Nice poster. Looks very normal from the outside. Still haven't seen any very significant sights so far. But you know what, this is definitely a very vastly different lifestyle from life here in Singapore. 
in fact, it's the kind of life that I really wish to experience one day. Like living in a small town, seeing the mountains every day, and being so relatively stress free. Okay, should we make a crossing here? Okay, yeah, so one thing to think about crossing in China. Some places might not even have a traffic light, so you have to pay very, very, very close attention. In Barco, we don't even expect to have any traffic lights because it's just a small town. Okay, so is that in class? Oh, so this is a school. Yes. Another thing to note, when in Xinjiang, the, the signs and the banners all have Uyghur Nostalic above. So, they are supposed to have Uyghur Nostalic above. If you don't, it will be a great offence to the Uyghur population. Especially in larger cities like Turpan. And like, and it, but if you do that in Hotan, you're screwed because they have ninety percent Uyghur population. Hami is better, kind of better, if you see it from the Han Chinese perspective, because it's sixty eight percent Han Chinese, with the remainder being Uyghur and Kazakh. So this is the school. Am I supposed to come in here? Okay, you can't really see it, but yeah, it is. So anyway, I don't really think I have a lot of space left. So, I hope you like this street. Like, unfortunately, was I, I ain't able to show you more Barco City proper. But, okay, I mean Barco Town proper. But, if you really like this street scene, please feel free to comment in the comments below. And if you don't like my video, please feel free to do so as well. So, I hope that through this, Y'all can come to Barco County one day and see, and see what people can't really see. Like the town vibes, the Tianshan Mountains. And to get to Barco, it's actually really easy. Come to Hami City by train. There'll be a lot of taxi drivers asking whether you're going to Barco. So, other than that, see you guys. Goodbye.